Welcome to the Patria Monsation of Roboto Risky of a channel in Boro. So in this project we are uh, using ESP32 camera there we attach over here. So which will take the input from the mobile phone through IoT. So based on the input signal from there and uh, it will send the images as a live streaming video to the Google Chrome. And uh, below that there we can control the robot directions like uh, this robot has a uh, four operations. Two are open and closing for the fingers and uh, remaining to our up and down movement of these fingers so for this uh, uh, motions we are going to be making use of two dc motors so are attached to the esp32 camera through this l293d motor driver and the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 3 amp battery so it consists of right it consists of around 3 amp batteries uh, 12 volt each battery pack consists of 3 4 volt batteries are in series and this will get the 12 volt 1 amp and these three are in parallel so we will get 12 volt 2 amps oh sorry 3 amps so this is mainly on off switch and this is a rechargeable battery in order to recharge this battery we are going to making use of this transformer along with charging circuit so this will take 230 volts ac input so we need to provide the 230 volts ac input to this and uh, this charging circuit will convert the ac to dc and then pure dc voltage that is directly given to this battery circuit here so it will be fully charged in a duration of 8 to 10 hours and after that time completion you can just disconnect the power supply to the charging section and you can utilize that by switching on this and here once you provide the 12 volts input to this so here we are using this LM2598 is a buck converter so which will take 12 volts DC input and provide as a 5 volts DC output which is sufficient to run our whole system by uh, enable the ESP32 camera and also parallelly we are providing 12 volts uh, DC input to this L293D motor driver so which will take the signals through this cable from ESP32 camera and these are the output to the DC motors and then so there we can see ESP32 camera so here so we have attached the ESP32 camera this side so it has a headlight as well as GPIO pins connected to the robotic movement so before switching on the kit, in your mobile phone install this network analyzer application. The main purpose of this application is to get the IP address of our ESP32 camera. And after that, go to hotspot settings of your phone. Change the hotspot name to project 519H. So the settings project all are small letters. I am repeating that all are small letters without any space. And the password should be 129. After that enable the hotspot and now go to network analyzer application over there right so stay on the application and now switch on the kit so once you switch on the kit after around 5 seconds of duration after that so now go to options land scan do scan So there you get the two IP address. One is your phone and another is a our ESP32 camera. So take that IP address 192.168.93.40. It will be fixed in this mobile phone in the future. So if you change the mobile phone, it will be changed. So again you need to install the network analyzer application and you can check that. Enter the same IP address in Google Chrome and refresh. So there we get the camera feeding. So this is the headlights on and off. So it's down. So when you hold that down button, it continuously goes on. So if you remove the button also, it is continuously going, then you can press the stop. Here the finger operation is open and closing
Right. 